Hey, what is going on, Capricorns? Butch Tarot here. I'm gonna do your one week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Uh, I'm gonna be using a new deck I just got about a week ago. Uh, it's the Del Toro deck. Uh, so far, I'm enjoying it. it I usually take a few days to get to know the deck before I use it. That being said, let's get it. Here's what we have. All right, Capricorn. So the first thing I see is I feel like there's there's someone else coming in, but I feel like there's already somebody around you. Now, this is someone from your past. Someone that's trying to convince you to either get back with them or to stay with them. You know, I, I, I feel like with this person, there's a lot of... There's a lot of games... You know, I feel like you know there's a lot of heartbreak. So I I feel like this person is someone that you were dealing with, and I feel like this is something that you moved on from. And I but I, but I feel like they haven't accepted that. You know, they don't. It's almost like they don't care what it is they did to you. It's whether it's how it's affecting them. That's why they want you back. Or that's why they want to make it work. It's about what's best for them. You know, I, I feel like this person isn't concerned about, about you whatsoever. I, I just feel like this is all... You know, I... I feel like you've recently... You know, I feel like you recently seen things in a different view, you know, realize this person is not, no good for you. You know, I feel like it took a lot of sleepless nights to realize this, but I feel like the more we realize it, the more we, we came to accept it is the fact that you're never really going to get what you want from this person. You know, and I feel like recently you, you may have even walked away from this person emotionally you know, I feel like there is still some tie to this person, but I feel like that was based more on stability. You know, I feel like you gave this person chance after chance, and every time you gave them a chance, they let you down. But it's almost like this is this this was the final straw. And even though this person doesn't want to accept that, you know, I feel like they want to, you know, keep trying to convince you that things will be different. I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like you already know that. That's why I feel like. You know, you walked away from this emotionally and all is left to do is walk away from it physically. And I do see that coming with that death card. You know, I feel like you got to the point where you're fed up. You know, you're not going to get what you want from this person. You know, this person, I feel like you've had a history of with this person of when you do walk away from this person, they keep they keep working their way back in there. But not this time. You know, this is... This has come to an end. Now, 
Now, one of the biggest things I feel like you realize lately is that the connection you had with this person was one-sided. And that's why it's not going anywhere. You put in all the work, you got nothing back. And every time you took a new chance on this person, they let you down. You know, like I said, I feel like there is some connection with this person that's been holding you longer than it normally would have. I feel like you trusted your intuition. Now, I feel like trusting your intuition is one of the most important things. And because you trust your intuition, I feel like there is something new coming for, you, for coming in for you. Um, we have some new communication. And with this new communication brings some big changes. Because I feel like this person coming in is, is someone that it's very confident. I can get this up. Someone very confident and somebody, you know, that has their shit together. That knows what it takes to be it, it knows what it takes to be successful because they already are successful. You know, this is someone that you can build with, someone that brings in new stability. Someone that makes you a priority. Because I feel like with this person, this is someone that's going to is going to have you on their mind all the time. You're priority number one to this person. You know, we got new love. As soon as you meet this person, you're going to know right away that this person is different than anything else you've ever dealt with, especially this past person. You know, this is someone that that you can envision having building a foundation with. And like I said, that communication, uh, we got that that communication coming in. I, I just feel like it's going to be different very quickly. Because of the fact that having someone that's on the same page as you, someone that wants to build for the future, someone that actually has feelings and isn't afraid to show them. It, it, this is bringing so many big changes into your life. And like I said, this is all coming from that moment when you trusted your intuition and, and, and realized that this person that you were dealing with wasn't bringing you anything. Now with this new person coming in, I feel like you will get what you want. You will get someone that puts you first. You know, someone that puts you as a priority, number one. Someone that brings in stability. Someone that's got their shit together. We got that power couple. We got a lot of emotional fulfillment. You know, all those cups being filled. And we have the sun card. It's all about happiness. You know, sometimes we get stuck in the wrong situation with people. And, and like I said, I feel like sometimes we let it go further than we know we should. Because we take a chance on people. And sometimes people let us down. You know, that's the nature of the beast sometimes. But with this new person, I don't feel like they are going to let you down. Like I said, uh, I do see this moving forward. And I do see it moving forward really quickly. Um, in the fact that I feel like once this person comes forward, I feel like it won't be long before this person makes their makes their feelings known to you. You know, there's a lot of happiness. There's no... You know, we have the moon card in reverse. Like, I mean, this person isn't hiding anything from you. There's no hidden agenda. There's no bullshit. It's going to be very different, but it's going to be very appreciated. You know, someone that puts you first is going to be the big difference here. Someone that puts, you know, that has the right perspective. And like I said, you're going to, you're going to feel something really different with this person. And that's your intuition talking to you again. I feel like you're getting really good at listening to your intuition, uh, which is great because a lot of people have a hard time listening to their intuition because it's telling you sometimes your intuition tells you things you don't want to hear. It doesn't mean you don't need to hear it because you do. Some people just don't want to hear it because it's not where they want to go. You know, sometimes their intuition is telling you that the person that you're with or the person that you want isn't the person for you. 
And, and it's hard for us to accept that sometimes because we want that person so badly that we, we figure we can want them enough for both of us. But that's not what you deserve. You deserve someone that's there for you. You know, someone that that treats you the way that you treat them. You know, with this past person, I just, like I said, I feel like you put in all the work. And it's almost like you got to a point where you put in so much work that it was it was hard to walk away because you, you, you invested so much of you into that. And sometimes that's the reason why people stay is because they've invested themselves into a situation for so long with so much of them in it that it's almost like they feel like they're losing part of themselves by walking away. But realize the longer you stay in a situation like that, the more you're losing of yourself. Like I said, with this new person coming in, this is someone very confident. They got their shit together. It brings new stability, all these big changes. This is someone that's always going to be thinking about you first. You know, you're not getting any hidden agenda. They're not going to hide their feelings from you. You know, I only see good things here because, like I said, uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles all getting what you want. We have the Sun card. You know, with that past person, I just feel like you had a connection with them stronger than their connection with you. You know, and sometimes we get in a situation where we have, you know, I, I feel like they they breadcrumbed you a little bit. You know, they told you this and that, whatever it took to keep you because they had a hidden agenda. With this person, there is no hidden agenda. You know, it's night and day here. We're dealing with someone that doesn't know what the hell they want, but they know... You know, they see you as a, a winning ticket and they're holding on to that. That's not a relationship. That's a, that, that's dependency. Now with that past person, we got a lot of air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You know, we also have some, some water, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. With this new person, we have a lot of fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We have a lot of earth. Capricorn, Taurus, possibly some Virgo. I mean, we also have water with this new person as well. So uh, Cancer, Gemini, or Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. <laughs> I keep seeing the lover's card here. You know, but this new person coming in, it, it's going to be completely different. And, it, and it's going to feel different, but it's going to bring on big changes. You know, it's, it's like living... It's going gonna, it's gonna to feel different at first, but we have to keep trusting our intuition. The reason it's going to feel different at first, it's like if you lived in Antarctica and then moved to Hawaii. It's going to take some adjustment to get used to something that is right. You know, something that actually gives you what you expected from other people. When you actually get it, it feels different. But keep trusting your intuition. You're on track. You know, I feel like, I feel like you know what you want. You know, and finally getting someone that, that, that puts you first is going to be a big difference. It is going to be a big change for you, but it's going to be a great change. You know, I only see good things coming. That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe. And always trust your intuition. No matter if you don't want to hear what it's saying. We all have it in us. You know, and I feel like you're you're finally you're finally trusting it, which is gonna was gonna, which is gonna lead you to all the right places. You know, it's all it's all about perspective as well. I mean, we don't always see what the big picture is until later, but you're starting to see it.